Yokochi Akira, Japan's deputy de facto ambassador to Taiwan, will leave his post at the end of the month. He got a rousing send-off at the legislative yuan on Friday after he gave a speech speaking not Mandarin but Taiwanese. Yokochi said he would really like to work at another post in Taiwan in the future, but there were too many other Japanese diplomats lining up for the job. On Friday, the Legislative UN inaugurated the Taiwan and Trans-Pacific Clean Energy Parliamentary Alliance, aimed at heightening Taiwan's international influence. We in Taiwan are not mere pawns. We are a key player in this crucial game. Ruling party and opposition lawmakers appeared together as they promoted exchanges between industry, government and academia. At the inauguration, there was also a special guest, none other than Yokochi Akira, the deputy representative of the Japan-Taiwan Exchange Foundation. Yokochi Akira gave a speech in Taiwanese, which always makes him the main focus of attention. This time he made an important announcement, saying that he will soon return to Japan. I recently received a transfer order from my country. It's a real pity that I will have to leave Taipei and return to Tokyo at the end of March. Lawmakers said they were sad to see a good Japanese friend who has been in Taiwan for more than two and a half years go home. <laughs> His understanding of Taiwan will be of assistance in getting Taiwan and Japan to be even closer in the future. Of course, it is a pity that I have to leave Taipei and go back to Tokyo now. However, I strongly hope that I will have the opportunity to come to Taiwan again in the future. There are many people lining up behind me and in front of me, all wanting to work in Taiwan. Even though he's leaving for Japan at the end of the month, Yokochi said he would continue to practice Taiwanese to become more fluent for when they next meet again.